Okay, two quick things regarding settings that I just want to point out. And I'm going to use this, I don't know what they call it, the home mode, the epoxy mode, not the cast mode. But anyway, so if you go into settings for this home mode, so I hit shift and then that. Make sure that you have the digit grouping with the little tick marks in it so that you can tell on large numbers where the commas go. And I'm going to show you one other thing. So let's I'm gonna hit escape here. If we go and let's put in a really big number, 200 e to the, let's say to the ninth. So that's 200 times 10 to the ninth. There you go. It displays, puts the commas, which really show up as like tick marks, apostrophes or whatever. And um, I want to show you another useful thing that you would use in engineering. And that is, let's say you're dealing with that number right there. Um, actually, let's pick one that's less obvious. I'm just going to type in a bunch of digits. Okay. Ah, oh, it did it for us automatically. And it even went to the 12th. Not a good example. So let's divide that by 100. Okay. So that's how it's displaying that answer, which in engineering, that's not particularly helpful. There's an interesting setting that you may not know about, but with numbers here, if you go on here under the standard setting and change that to engineering what it'll do I'm just hitting enter there and what that will do is it will always display your numbers rounded to a like 10 times 10 to the third or times 10 to the sixth or times 10 to the ninth which is very convenient because that's how all the metric system is set up so instead of that really long nasty number we see that it's um, 12.45, whatever, 98766, times 10 to the ninth, which is handy, because that's, what would that be? I don't even know, but it's still metric. That's it.